Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021. So I hope you're well Capricorn. Let's pull your angel answer card and see what message we have for you for the week. What do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns for the week. Okay, Capricorn, so you're being told to trust. I mean, there's a great energy here that you're being watched over. You can see the person. It's almost kind of like they're held. Feels like it by an angel, but it could well be, you know, source to divine the universe too. It definitely feels in this energy you're being watched over. Trust. Trust things will work out. Trust you're being watched over. But also trust your intuition because that's how God, the divine the universe, speaks to us. Very nice energy indeed. Okay, let's pull another card. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns for the week. What is the message that Capricorn needs to hear the most, please? Thank you. So the card Capricorn we... Ha oh, lovely. <laughs> It's a similar message, you know, because you see on this kind, there's kind of like this, the water is encircling this mermaid. So it, there's definitely an energy of you're being held, blessings are coming your way, trust. Beautiful message is there, Capricorn, okay. So I'm gonna pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards to go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Capricorn. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. Okay, message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. What is the message that Capricorn needs to hear the most for the week? Thank you. Flew out. Okay, so we have the hanging man. This is your current situation. King of Swords, card of Aquarius is your challenge. Two of Cups is advice from spirit. And the Ace of Coins is your outcome. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. Okay, can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn, please? 11th to the 17th of January, 2021, thank you. What does Capricorn need to hear the most? Thank you. Starting with this hanging man. Okay, thank you. That flew out. So we have the six of cups reversed. It flew out reversed. King of swords is clarified by the strength card. The, oh, we've got two two of cups. Very nice energy indeed. And we have the ace of coins and it's clarified by the tower. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Okay, Capricorn, I'm gonna clarify this Two of Cups. Can we clarify this Two of Cups, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Capricorn, thank you. Okay, so <laughs> we have the Fool. <laughs> Very nice energy, okay. So there's, you're being told to trust there's blessings here, Capricorn. The Hanged Man is a card of feeling in limbo. Sometimes it can be about looking at something in a different way because it's, with the Six of Cups reverse, this is somebody who almost isn't, needs to look at something in a different way because this can be about the past still has hold of them. So whatever this situation is for you, 
there's definitely an energy of the past still has hold of you or the difficulty of moving on from the past and that is your challenge because sometimes when the hanged man appears things haven't quite played out things haven't quite you know it's almost kind of like it is a card of, of alignment it is a card of things haven't you know um aligned themselves to where they need to be you know universal energy and all that so it can be a period of surrender looking at something in a different way recalibrating finding illumination and seeing the way forward but it, it feels in this situation something needs to play out here and it's the difficulty, I mean, this can be about the difficulty in moving on from the past. Because the beautiful thing is, your challenge is making a plan, formulating a strategy, and um, getting clarity of the mind. I mean, there's, there's something about clarity here, Capricorn, something about the need to get clarity. And I say the hanging man is a beautiful energy because it's in the moments of being stuck or feeling in limbo that we get our greatest illumination and we get that illumination from source. You're being given blessings and it could be in the form of some kind of illumination coming your way. But it feels in this situation, in your current position, you're still aligning, things haven't quite played out, lined up. And the King of Swords is getting that perspective, seeing, getting clarity. I mean, it's about mental clarity. And the Strength card is having the strength, the courage, the, the resoluteness now. And it can and will be about formulating a plan, putting a plan into action, um, standing in your power and allowing yourself to, to have a goal, to get that vision, to see the way forward, to find that solution, to get clarity in your situation, to see the big picture and have the strength and courage and resoluteness. Even some charisma here as well, I have to say Capricorn, uh, belief in your own power, ability to turn things in your favour, you know, put a plan into action. It feels very beautiful here, but this is your challenge position. There's something about needing to get clarity here. Because the King of Swords has full clarity, it's a card of Aquarius, has full clarity on their situation, they're the strategists, um, he understands how to put plans into action, he knows what he wants and how to get there, you know, it's this kind of energy. But it's almost kind of like that future vision, the future is, is evading you somehow. But you're being told here that you are going to get blessings because the two of cups is essentially and it's appeared twice in your reading so the two of cups is in essence it's a bond between two people now that could be in terms of business that could be in terms of friendship that could be in terms of love new love romance relationships um it's something that brings happiness and joy, that's for sure. And there's a connected energy, feeling connected with somebody, like-minded soul, individual. So this is an offer or an invitation. Can be in love, could be in business, certainly with the Ace of Coins there. Um, but it's something that's bringing you joy and it feels like you're connecting to some kind of like-minded spirit or certainly it's coming your way. Um, so it feels very beautiful in this energy, Capricorn, I have to say, that the offer, the opportunity, and it's, it's clarified with the Fool, which is take a leap of faith, take a chance. This Two of Cups, this offer and invitation is linked with a new beginning. And again, we have this new beginning here. Now... It might well be for some of you that there is an offer or an opportunity, if it's to do with money and career, which the Ace of Coins can be. I mean, the Ace of Coins is our conscious reality. So it can be to do with money career, it can be to do with property, it can be to do with foundational relationships, people we build our lives around, the beginnings of something new. So the, the Ace of Coins is an energy of it can be career financial opportunities, can be moving, relocating. 
can be manifesting something new with someone, but it's coming in suddenly and it's a life-changing opportunity. That's for sure with the tower, but it feels positive, I have to say. Now, it could well be a large organisation, lots of tiers, lots of structure, you know, national, multinational, huge organisation. Um, it might well be that that's relevant for you. But what, is it, what it's allowing you to do, what you've been wanting to move on from, the past, it's allowing you to tear down the old and embrace the new. Because again, the tower is an act of love from the universe to realign you to a path. Sometimes the tower, you know, the tower is just the destruction of the old. It's a liberating energy. And we have the fool as well, liberating towards a new path. Um, and again, the Ace of Coins is that new beginning in your conscious reality. So for some of you, this Two of Cups can be somebody new coming into your life. You could be manifesting a new relationship here. Um, can also be, and it, it feels very good in terms of business and career, something that's bringing you joy is coming your way. Trust that it's coming your way. And that's what Spirit wants you to, to believe. Because, you know, this Fool card is the blind faith card. It's taking a chance, taking a leap of faith. If you're unsure of anything here, and I get this situation, I get this sense that whatever this opportunity is, maybe it's something that you have to think twice about here. The message is don't, don't overthink this. Take that leap of faith, take the chance. Again, the strength, the courage, the resoluteness to go for something now. Because it, it feels very beautiful. Um, so the new path is unfolding and the universe, trust the universe, is realigning you to the new path and allowing you to move on from whatever the past has been. Yeah, it's a beautiful energy. And you know, this, this emperor, and like I said, it could be a large organization. Uh, for some of you, if it's to do with money and career, the emperor can be a person coming into your life. Generally, it's more of a masculine energy. Somebody of influence, whether it's in business or it could well be to do with um, love, romance, relationships. But the emperor as an energy is somebody who is in their power, who's the initiate, who is an initiator. He takes the initiative, takes control, takes authority, takes charge. So there's definitely an energy here. Something is putting you back in authority of your own life. Something is empowering you this week, and it's to do with this Two of Cups, with this Ace of Pentacles opportunity, allowing you to open a new door. Um, and again, this is, he is the empire builder, the beginning of building a new empire. There's definitely an energy of rebuilding, constructing something new here. Um, and it, it feels Capricorn. Things are beginning to turn around for you, or soon will. Because the message is, you need to trust that things will improve. Trust the offer, the opportunity that brings happiness and joy to you is coming your way. Trust that that new door is unfolding. Because even though you may have been through a deep change in your situation, you are being realigned. And it, it feels quite suddenly, quite suddenly things are going to change for you in a good way. Um, and you're being, that's because you're being given blessings and you are being watched over. So it's a very lovely message indeed. So the Ace of Coins can be moving, relocating as well, can be financial career opportunities, can be the manifestation of something new. Yeah, you see? <laughs> Lost and found. And it's interesting because there is an energy here of out with the old, in with the new. You're being realigned to a new path. So we have what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realised were lost. But there's definitely that sense of coming back into your power. Where you might have lost power here, felt powerless. Difficulty in moving on from the past, maybe things weren't happening for you. There's definitely an energy you're back in control. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Capricorn, and I will see you next time. Thank you.